How water could be the key to time travel. What if the flow of time wasn't just a metaphor, but a literal river we could learn to navigate? For decades, this has been science fiction. But a friend of Einstein himself, the logician Kurt Gödel, found a clue connecting the physics of a swirling fluid to time travel. That clue suggests the secret might just be hidden in the most common substance on our planet, water. The Gödel universe. In 1949, Kurt Gödel found a new solution to Einstein's equations of general relativity. His math described a universe filled with a rotating, fluid-like substance. In this rotating universe, the fabric of space-time became so twisted that it created pathways that looped back on themselves, what physicists call closed time-like curves. In simple terms, they are pathways to the past. But there was a catch. Gödel's model required the entire universe to be rotating, and our universe doesn't seem to have a global spin, so his solution was seen as a mathematical curiosity. Space-time whirlpools. But what if you didn't need the whole universe to rotate? This question is grounded in a real concept called frame dragging. Predicted in 1918, it says massive rotating objects twist space-time around them, like a bowling ball spinning in honey. This isn't just a theory. Scientists have measured Earth's rotation dragging space-time by tiny amounts. The speculation is, what if this effect could be amplified? Could a massive, rapidly spinning cylinder of fluid like water, drag space-time so violently that it creates those time loops on a local scale? Paradoxes and protections. The moment time travel seems possible, we face paradoxes. The most famous is the grandfather paradox. If you go back and prevent your own birth, how could you have existed to travel back in the first place? One solution is the Novikov self-consistency principle. It states that any action a time traveler takes was always part of history. The universe would conspire to ensure you can't change the past because you're a part of it. Faced with these issues, Stephen Hawking proposed the chronology protection conjecture. He joked that a chronology protection agency works to make the universe safe for historians. The physics behind this is that any attempt to create a time machine would generate a feedback loop of energy so powerful it would warp space-time and destroy the machine at the exact moment of its creation, preventing the paradox from ever happening. So could a swirling vortex of water let us travel in time? For now, that remains science fiction. The leap from the tiny measured effect of frame dragging to a full-blown time machine is colossal. And yet the core idea that rotation twists time is a direct consequence of Einstein's theory, mathematically proven by Kurt Gödel. It forces us to ask what time really is. Is it an unyielding arrow or a flowing river with currents and eddies we just haven't learned to navigate? Perhaps Stephen Hawking was right and the past is forever sealed off. Or perhaps one day we'll find a way to navigate that river. What do you think? If you could travel to the past, where or when would you go? Let us know in the comments.